An underdog team taking on a top five team in the world in a competitive match. Let's see if they can get the upset. He is indeed. We got nine dragons from Bernal. Got a bunch of sneaky goblins as well. Take a look at the equipment. So regular king, hero, or healer puppet on the queen. Hero puppet. <laughs> and then everything else is pretty typical there. Dragon's right down the middle, not wasting any time. He's just going to go ahead and send it. Siege Barracks from 6 o'clock, King Queen from the top right. Dragon's, of course, down the middle of the base. He does have no blimp in this one because he's got the Siege Barracks at 6. He's counting on the dragons to just push into the core and take the Town Hall down. Continuing to lead in with some Rage Spells. Push these dragons into the base, maybe. Not getting a lot of use out of that one on the right, unfortunately. There we go. Now they're starting to move in. All right, that worked out pretty well. Except he does hit the tornado. It's going to slow these dragons down. He does have another freeze for the town hall scatter combo. Drops in another rage as well, leading into the scatter shots. These dragons are having a tough time in the core of the base. We got super minions out of the siege barracks. Looks like sneaky goblins on the top left. He's got a bunch of baby dragons here working on cleanup on the outside of the base as well. Drops in the freeze in the core of the base, and it's looking pretty good. He's got a lot of dragons still left alive. Still has... Does he have any heroes left alive? The queen's in the core of the base. I'm not sure how she got there. The royal champion, of course, still moving through with the dragons. And it's just a couple of defenses left. Nicely done from Bernal. Getting it done with the dragons, as he usually does. I'm pretty sure we've seen this exact same base earlier on a different team. <laughs> I think VM Legacy were running it, actually. Let's see if Chris can take it down. He's also coming in with a Zap Lalo. He's got seven lightning spells. Got the Flame Flinger from the bottom side of the base. There are the Zaps. He's going to take out the Eagle, take out the right multi Archer Tower. All right. I'm going to see what else he got there. I think it was an Expo. He's got Baby Dragon on the top left side. Let's take a quick look at the hero equipment before I forget. Typical King, Healer Puppet Queen. Pretty standard equipments. We do have the Hulk Puppet with the Royal Gem. It's not a combo we see a lot. All right, more stuff here on the bottom side. We got the Barbarian King moving in. We got the wall break in. Pulls a couple of headhunters out of the defensive CC. Pops that King's ability. King moving in. Hulk Launcher should be able to grab this multi here very shortly. We got an Ice Golem coming in with another wall breaker as well. There's Rocket Balloon. A couple of Ice Golems out of the defensive CC. Drops in his poison. Should help take care of that rocket balloon before it does too much damage. The king is going to go to ability anyway. Or not ability. He's going to go to phoenix. He's dead. All right. That queen's not going where he wants her either. But she'll at least be able to pick up the multi inferno tower. But nothing's going to get that multi archer tower. Which is a little unfortunate. Oh, the queen's going to move back out. She's going to go after the ice golem. Okay, but she goes back into that same compartment. Rip. I thought she might go in for that multi-archer tower. That would have been nice. Here we go. We got some Lalo in from the top side of the base. Balloons from 12 and from the left. Gonna move it in for the town hall. Needs a couple more buildings to go down before the town hall will activate. It might have been a little bit early on that. He's going to drop in the haste. Pops Warden's ability here. The balloons even path up there? I don't think they do. They're going to follow the Teslas. Okay, he got some Teslas down fast enough that a few balloons went up. And they will secure the Town Hall. We got more balloons from the right side. Royal Champion over there as well. Not looking too bad. A few more balloons from the bottom right side of the base. Looks like Flink Blinger had some super minions in there. That multi-archer tower from the start of the attack going to be a little bit awkward. The one that the heroes were meant to get, but they didn't. Actually, the Queen's wrapping back around. She's still going to get it. It's a lot later than he expected, but she gets it. And he's going to be able to get this 3-star while swagging the Royal Champion's ability. He actually goes ahead and hits it, but he actually didn't need it here. Nice attack from the Chris. And Loop is bringing 10 dragons. So he's he's following Bernal's path here, going with the mass dragon approach. King on the bottom side of the base with the Queen on the bottom right. Wall break in. Super Barbs. Here we go. Nice big funnel with the heroes. He does... I don't have any more wall breakers. I was hoping he might be able to get the king in with the queen for that scatter. No, he's going to jump the king towards the town hall and let the queen handle the scatter on her own. Not sure if he was expecting a Tesla farm here. We'll see. But king's already getting low. He's going to have to pop ability soon. There it is. He can take that jump spell, head in towards the town hall here. 
Looks like he has witches on defense. Must have been witches, but I think the dragons have taken care of them. All right, now the queen just have to has to deal with the skellies. The king's onto the town hall. Can he get it down with the phoenix? And king? No, he's not gonna get it. Phoenix might be able to finish it. I don't think so though. No, that town hall's gonna stay standing. Oh no. Loop. He's got the royal champion from the left side of the base. The RC can move in and secure this town hall. Uh, the royal champion's heading up. Oh no. It's gonna come down to the dragons. Alright, well, this is gonna get interesting. Monolith still firing away. Seeking Air Mine finishes off the owl. The warden's gonna die to the monolith here. That town hall's gonna be doing a lot of damage. There's that tornado. He's actually super lucky. Those barbarians triggered that tornado before the dragons got there. But it doesn't matter. He's not gonna get it. The dragons are dead. And that's a one star. Oh no, loop. That's a massive defense for Black, and just like that. Just like that. Black Esports have a lead. Alright, Cerberus is in. They have to take advantage of the big defense if they want to win this match. And this one's going to be Hydra. Green from the bottom side of the base. Let's take a quick look at the hero abilities. He does have a clone spell. He does also have a recall. Green's got the healer puppet. Typical king. Rage vial on the gem. He's got hogs and a seeking shield on the royal champion. Like he did pop that queen's ability to start the attack. He didn't bring any healers of his own. All right, queen's continuing to clear out some trash buildings. I'd imagine when he recalls her, he's just going to put her on the left or right side. And then fly the dragons in kind of towards the town hall. He also has a blimp. I would imagine he's just going to blimp for the town hall itself. And then fly the dragons down one of these little lanes here. Let her get the storage, being very patient. A little over two minutes to go. They don't have to worry about time. They just got to make sure they lock down a three star. There's the queen with the king on the right side of the base. Here we go with the dragons and it's full send. Dragons down the middle. There's the warden with the rage gem. I'd imagine we see the blimp. There we go. Blimp is in. You have that in this tower behind the town hall. So there's the freeze. A little bit early, but it works. There's the rage as well. All right, balloons are out. They get the town hall down. Cool. Invis Vile goes off. A couple of dragons went to the left. It's going to be a little bit awkward in the Town Hall Poison. We still have the King on the top side. Popping his ability. Trying to keep these dragons inside of the base. A bunch of dragons towards the top side. Trying to keep them in. And hopefully path them to that other air defense and get that down quickly. He's got a lot of dragons up there. All the dragons on the bottom side died. Looks like the Monolith likely took them out. Did he drop that clone over the Town Hall? If he did, that was a complete waste of three housing space. Because he did not need a clone there to get that town hall down. I'm pretty sure that's where he dropped it, because I didn't see it anywhere else. Man's out here swagging clone spells. We'll see if he can still get it. We got the world champion moving in. Hopefully we got all the CC troops out of the way. We'll find out shortly, I guess. Some awkward late ice golems coming out would not be ideal. Down goes the enemy RC, down goes the scatter. That Royal Champion is doing a nice job staying out of range of the... <laughs> out of the Clan Castle, just as I said it, though. He steps right in. Pops her ability, gets the Hog Riders out. Moving through these last few defenses, I think he's still got it. He just has to get through the Monolith, and he's going to be fine. He's got Dragons here, he's got the RC. Hog Riders finish off the Monolith, and he's got the three-star in the bag, even though he swagged a clone spell. Nicely done to Cerberus, and Black Esports take advantage of the defense. Their best percentage is 98.8. So they have to triple to win. Here we go, last attack of the match. It all comes down to this attack. And K1 is bringing in Electro Dragons. And here we go. We got an Inferno Dragon from the bottom side of the base. Baby Dragon on the top right side with the Archer Queen. Take a quick peek at the hero equipment. All right, standard stuff. Here we go. We got Electro Dragons. We got a Stone Slammer making their way into the base. Early Warden's ability, double rage. Pretty typical stuff for the Electro Dragons. And there's a lot of chain value inside of this base, so these E-Dragons should be able to push through really well. Here we go. We're about to see. The Stone Slimer is already opened up. That seems super early. Defensive Rage. No, I think that was his Rage again going off. We have a Defensive Poison going off here in the core of the base. E-Dragons still pushing their way through. They should be able to get this Eagle down here shortly. Is low. One more shot. Down it goes. Perfect. No more Eagle Artillery. 
This is looking solid for K1. This is looking very good. We got lots of E-Dragons still left on the back end of the base. We still have Royal Champion's ability. The Queen's moving through. She's going to lose her healer. She's probably going to go down, but it's not going to matter. We got the Hog Riders from the RC's ability moving through, taking out the scatter shot. This is absolutely crushed. Beautiful hit from K1. And Black Esports taking down Anarchia. Look at that. The underdog team getting it done. And there we have it. 14 to 13. 98.8 to 99.4. Huge defense for Black Esports, and they're able to take it and run with it. Nicely done. And there we have it. Awesome performance there from Black Esports. If you guys want to see some awesome creative attacks, I recommend checking out this video right here.